Hello, I'm William Hatton and welcome to Buckingham News. During the summer holidays, the town council introduced a swan trail that led throughout the town for all ages to get involved with, including locally designed swans and a tour of the town. Ruki Awaro has more. The Buckingham Town Council is very pleased to announce the introduction of the second temporary public art sculpture trail, which will be active all over the summer vacation period for 2023. The Swan Trail is a community-driven, kid-friendly project that offers free activities for all members of the community to participate in and enjoy. Each swan has been beautifully painted by school students, artists, and members of the community. The swans have been generously sponsored by local businesses, organizations, and the Buckingham Share Council. I like the innovation. Um, it brings a lot of color to the town. Um, I know Buckingham historically um, was known for breeding swans for the king. So um, it's just an interesting take on uh, the swan and like the symbolism in the town. I think it's really nice, really unique, adds a sort of color to the town, some sort of culture as well, just walk. Well, I was curious about it. I asked myself what it was about, and I think it's pretty nice. It kind of brightens up the town. <laughs> the Buckingham Swan Show has enabled artists to not only showcase their talents, but also boost the environment. This is Rukwe Awuro reporting for Buckingham News. The number of charity shops on Buckingham High Street appears to be increasing following a period of recent closures that left some shops empty. Now with refresh shops opening up, we ask how do they plan to stay successful? Diana Chesnikova has the story. Buckingham has plenty of different charity shops, but not all of them seem to be successful. A charity shop on High Street was closed recently. However, a new one opened its doors in the place of Taylor's shop. Local charity businesses offer a great variety of goods. Customers can literally find everything, from clothes to old books. Fast fashion is a big issue at the moment, and anything that we can do to slow it down um, helps. Charity shopping can be beneficial in a lot of ways. Saving money, finding unique items, and helping our planet by reusing things is just the beginning of the list. Well, not only are our prices cheaper than buying things um, first hand, um, even really cheap things first hand aren't always as cheap as you can find them here. But also, like I say, we have a lot of vintage stuff and we always put out really good quality items so they're going to last longer. In your While businesses in Buckingham are shutting down due to the high rent and utility costs, charity shops are still there for their customers. We hope that people will support local charity businesses more to ensure their success. This is Diana Chesnikova for Buckingham News. The Woolpack hosted its first silent disco on Saturday night. With free entry and three channels of music to choose from, there was something for everybody. Yunus Oliyemi has the story. The popular 70s dance phenomenon called Silent Disco took over by storm in Buckingham at the Woolpack pub on Saturday night. It's something different and I'm trying to bring things to Buckingham that are a little bit different and ultimately they're inclusive to everybody of any age because that's what I think it's all about. It doesn't matter, I mean obviously we're hosting an 18 plus only event so it is only adults but ultimately it doesn't matter whether you're 18 or you're 18. I'm going to stick a pair of headphones on and I'm sure we've got something on one of our channels for you. Flashy headphones lit up the room at the court with vivid colours intensifying the already thrilling atmosphere as people danced literally to their own rhythm. So I've been to a few festivals and I always go to silent disco at a few festivals. And this is my first one, but it's fun. Actually, you take your headphones yeah. off and it's funny laughing at seeing other people <laughs> singing and dancing. <laughs> I do like some of the tunes, like there's been Ride on Time and um, Can't Touch This. There was another song that I haven't heard, which I won't remember until about three days later. But yeah, like the music's good. I like it. The exclusive 18 plus event was quelled by the open bar and sonic beats. Guiding the night's epic journey with finesse and flair was DJ Mike. I've got three separate playlists going on. Only one channel can hear me. Um, so I, I'm more consumed in what I'm doing, but I can see people in the room on different channels listen and dance into different things. It just creates that massive atmosphere. As the dance floor heated up, people weren't afraid to take the party outside to some irresistible shot deals. 
Fill in the ninth with lots of unique dances. This noiseless trend saw Buckingham at its quirkiest. Reporting live from the heart of the buzzing event, I am Nudin Soliemi for Buckingham News. Teresa Heapy, a very well-known writer, has joined us as the new Royal Literary Fund Writing Fellow. She'll be available for all students to discuss aspects of their writing or improve their writing skills. Lois Daly reports. The Royal Literary Fund runs a fellowship scheme right here on the Buckingham University campus. This gives students the opportunity to work one-to-one -one with professional published authors to help develop their academic writing. Well, hello, I'm Theresa Heapy and I am the Royal Literary Fund Writing Fellow for the University of Buckingham. So I am a children's book author and editor and the Royal Literary Fund sends writers like me into universities to help students with their writing. Now that might be talking about your planning, talking about how you write, your writing style. It might be looking at the editing, how you edit a piece of work to make it better. It might be looking at grammar um, or referencing or research or time. Anything that you're concerned about with your writing. The university is currently partnered with Teresa Heapy an award-winning children's book author. With a selection from picture books to educational fiction, she's appointed to help with essay writing and other submission work. I've had students bring me marketing proposals as part of their course. Um, it's, I've had obviously dissertations as well as for undergraduates and postgraduates. So it's, it's not creative writing, it's, it's academic writing that I'm giving advice on. Teresa is contactable via email and all students are able to make a free appointment to review the writing they choose to bring along. Teresa is located in the ADR building room 105 and can be contacted via email. This is Lois Daly reporting for Buckingham News. And now to the weather forecast with Natalie Ansley. It's good news and bad news in the weather this week with rain and partly cloudy days filling the forecast. Wednesday will have a high of 23 with partly cloudy skies. Thursday, however, will be rainy, so don't get used to the heat just yet. The rain will continue into Friday, but Saturday we expect some of our highest temperatures this week with a 25 degree forecast. The weekend will finally start to feel like summer. Sunday, we're expecting a return of scattered showers, but climbing temperatures going into the following week. We're going to see these low to mid 20 temps on Monday with a high of 24. It's expected to be partly cloudy, so no umbrella needed. However, Tuesday, don't leave the house without your raincoat. We're expecting thunderstorms, though still relatively warm with a high of 24 again. I'm Natalie Ansley, and this has been your weekly weather forecast. Back to you, Lane. Thank you, Natalie. And thank you for watching Buckingham News. And don't forget to subscribe to our social media channels. See you next week.